Paldea Evolved just came out and fresh off the truck, we've got our Pokemon Center ETB. So just like always, we gotta open up both boxes and figure out which one is gonna have the better hits and compare the two just to kinda see if you actually missed out. So right down here, we've got both ETBs looking fantastic. I love the color scheme, but let's crack them open and see what's inside. So looking at both ETBs, they are both coming with this Pikachu and Friends promo card, except the Pokemon Center exclusive one does come with a Pokemon Center stamped version. There are also 65 card sleeves in both boxes, but unfortunately this time they're both the same gonna have a fat stack of energy in there too, I know you're looking for those. There's a player's guide as usual and both versions are identical. Damage counter dice which again are identical but the main die looks fantastic with the three different shades inside. Card dividers are also gonna be identical designs this time around and some condition markers in the new design but again both boxes identical. So it seems like the main differences are gonna be the amount of packs that you get, 9 in the regular ETB and 11 in the Pokemon Center ETB so at least we're getting a lot of volume of packs but very unfortunate that we're not seeing major differences between these two, especially when you're paying the difference in price. But we're here for the packs, so down here, this side on the left, we're starting with the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, and we're gonna see if it was worth it. So, here we go, our first pack of Paldea Evolved. Here we go. We're gonna see, uh, I'm hoping for the first pack magic, as usual. Paldea Evolved, Make sure down below, we got, okay, we got a Glamora. That's, that's a start, you know? So there is our first code card for you guys. Make sure, let me know down in the comments, how have you been enjoying the set? If you've even been able to get your hands on it yet. I'm hearing a lot of mixed reviews out there on whether or not people are gonna really like go for it or not because like, they're not seeing like the major big hits that they're, they're wanting maybe, or like maybe not their favorite Pokemon. But Iona, you know, is always a, is a big hit that people are going after. Luxray, maybe not the hit people are going for. Uh, I am looking for, though, the Tauros, the, uh, I think it's the, the fire type one. That one looks pretty sweet. Uh, even though it's just like a regular card, I like those too, you know. Bramblin. I've also heard that uh, some people are not getting the great, greatest hits out of the ETBs, so... This is definitely going to be a little bit of an experiment to kind of see if there are any hits in here. Sandy Gast and Veluza. It's a name. But the set does include 279 cards. So this is a big boy set. There's 193 in the regular set. So there's going to be plenty to collect in here. And hey, there's the Artaros that I was looking for. And it was like not the most rare hit, but we're checking it off. Not too bad there, Florigato, Therapeutic Energy, we might need some of that. Hey, our first EX, Chi Yu EX, oh, I love the sparkles, it's always, that's a great feature, I love it. And our uh, energy right there. Now, as we do get the hits in these packs, I do always like to post the price, the current like market price of the cards. The values are going to change over time, because, I mean, right now, as I'm filming this, that's a brand new set, so like prices are probably going to be the high, like part of the peak, and then uh, they'll usually kind of cool off from there. Tink a ton over time, but then maybe like particular cards may rise uh, over the months, the years. Like right now, I think we're seeing a big rise in a lot of the uh, Sun and Moon era waifu cards, which is cool to see because those are fantastic cards, but uh, just ebbs and flows of the market. So even if uh, something right now might come out kind of cheap. You never know. Rabska, holographic. So there are 26 illustration rares in the set. There's a lot of great ones in there. Looking forward to picking up quite a few of those. And uh, also there's gonna be 15 like ultra rares in the set and nine gold cards. So, Sable Eye, not a gold card. Plenty to collect in the set, and I think some good Pokemon, like Skeledurge. That's one of those Pokemon that's on that's a gold card. I think I want to pick that one up. I don't know. I started with Fue Coco, so I'm a little bit partial to him. Noibat, Sprigatito, Quaxley, Charcadet. We just need a Fue Coco in this pack, and we got all the starters there. So Viper, there's our Noibat, Tandemouse, and a Weavile. Weevil? I don't know how to put where the emphasis necessarily goes. 
but so uh, we've got three more packs left on this uh, on this ETB, the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, and uh, maybe what I'm seeing out there with people saying they're a little uh, not so lucky is uh, unfortunately true. Obama Snow and another Rapska. There you go with your code card. So on the English side or the uh, the international versions of these sets, so how they uh, evolved, uh, they do combine a lot of the Japanese sets into one giant international release. So over in Japan, they have like a lot more sets that come out, uh, but they're a lot smaller. Hey, we've we got a Rapska. I love the colors on this one. This one I was like kind of interested on in, uh, just because of the colors. They're very they're vibrant. I like that. Uh, hey, we got the double banger with a Pikachu EX. Not too shabby, but of course we had to get the Pikachu. Let me get these out of the way so we can get that code card for you. And uh, just going back to uh, what I was saying, the Japanese packs, there's about 30 cards that were cut from the Japanese side as they built this, in this international set. So those 30 cards should probably be showing up in Obsidian Flames, which is the third set in the Scarlet and Violet era. Ice Q and a Sableye which coincidentally also darkness energy. So that was our first ETB. Not necessarily terrible, but I don't necessarily feel like it was very good either. So we're gonna bank those hits off to the side and then now we're gonna get into our regular ETB to compare the hits. All right, next box is up. So the bar, I don't think was set necessarily very high, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see how this pans out. There is some fantastic art though on these cards with uh, just even like these regular ones. You know, I think they go underappreciated just, uh, you know, just because they're not like a big giant hit and I like them. Also, question, boss's orders, coincidentally, pulled this one. I had, uh, did have a question. I was looking at the set list earlier. Why is Gestus, why is, why is he the boss's orders for Paldea Evolved? I don't know the correlation there. The leader of Team Plasma, why, why is he over here in Paldea? You know? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe it's like theories, you know, because uh, uh, Team Plasma, that's France in the Kalos region. Paldea is supposed to be Spain. So I don't know. Is is Getsis, is he like going to be showing up in the DLC for Scarlet and Violet? I don't know. Kind of weird. Because I know we had... Uh, like Team Star in uh, Scarlet and Violet as like our main bad guys, but like we wouldn't have like a big bad organization. So like, I don't know, just random thoughts. Kind of weird that uh, that's our boss's orders. I don't have somebody else on that card. Kind of a, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What do you think? Why is, why is he our boss's orders person? And maybe I'm just looking too far into it. I don't know. Because we've had Giovanni, like, how many times for boss's orders? Uh, or a choreo. Something a little bit different, I guess. There you go. Also, let me know if these ETBs have been like this for you. We definitely need a hit. Sneasel, Gothita, Mastiff, Artisan, Pelde and Tardos. Love it. Practice Studio, Mankey. Lit Leo and a jump fluff. All right, well, at least we're getting new cards, you know, bright side, getting those new cards for the binder. Uh, I just actually, as I'm filming this, put in my order for the new Voltex uh, SV2 binder, and uh, that thing is looking sweet. So, if I can find a link uh, to share out to you guys, I'll make sure to put that down in the description for you, and uh, make sure to get you guys good gear because I actually really do like vault -Techs. I've been using them for the last what how, how long am I doing like three years two three years so I really do like their products and I love also having just like an exclusive themed binder for the different sets because it just helps me keep things organized when I have just like stacks of binders off to the side uh, Pama and code card right there and plus it's got like all this like cool like rainbow effect to it. Just like how the set 
how they evolved has kind of like that rainbow effect on the e ETB. So it matches up really cool and I like that. So I think, I think it's gonna be a nice addition, but we got to fill out the binder with the rest of these cards. Skip Bloom, Luminous Energy. Okay, hey. Quaquoval, EX. I still need to decide how I'm gonna pronounce this name, but it's an EX. Very nice. It's good to see a different EX card. Because, uh, I'm tired of seeing, like, Spide Ops EX and Bayonet EX <laughs> from the base set. Here we go, last pack. And then we're gonna get into some comparison to make sure. If you like Pokemon, collecting cards, toys, make sure you are subscribed. We take care of all of the different uh, aspects. Ooh, that is some last pack magic there with a the Noivern EX. That's a nice one. I do love the Noivern. And ending with that electric energy. So not too bad of a last pack magic. Let's get these into some sleeves and do a little bit of a recap. All right, so very interesting. Today we got in our Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, we did get our Pikachu EX, we got a Chi Yu EX, and we got a Rabska Illustration Rare, so like, pretty good. We got, you know, 3 out of 11, not terrible. We got our big last pack magic with the Noivern EX, and we got our Quaquavol EX, so two decent hints with the ex but we did get like this big banger with the noivern so those are our five hits for the video you let me know down in the comments which of these boxes was better and let me know if this was uh par, par for the course if you guys are getting similar so thank you guys so much for checking out this video stay and subscribe to the channel i appreciate you guys take care of each other out there i'll see you very soon on the next one